Hello everyone, it's me Gweekles, and today I will be reviewing my Artscape art supplies. They were generous enough to send me a bunch of their supplies, so I will be going through each one and trying to make this as nice a video as possible. I received their brushes, which are in an amazing case with a variety of sizes. Let me check the handles, they weren't loose, they are synthetic brushes and they come in various sizes um, and shapes, um, from round brushes to filberts to flat heads and um, corner angles, and then of course a fan brush. But I found them to be just amazing just from holding them, and you get that amazing case, which is so awesome. The other thing that they sent me were was the graphite transfer paper, which I found to be amazing because it's already colored instead of it just being normal um, wax, uh, transfer paper that's dirty and graphite. This was red and you can also print on it, which is pretty cool. I didn't get the opportunity to print on it in case I had sketched something digitally um, or you know just wanted to do it that way instead of the old traditional way. Um, because my printer ran out of ink, but I will test that shortly. But the paper is very thin, it's like tissue paper, and I tried to see if it would easily rub off on my fingers, and it didn't. So I had pressed a little bit harder, and it did rub off on my fingers just a little bit, but it wasn't messy at all, which is great, because normally transfer paper is very messy and dirty, which is what drew me to want to review their color transfer paper in the first place. And then the next thing is their gouache. Now, gouache is somewhat of a child between watercolor and acrylics. I've never been particularly good with acrylics, um, but I've always wanted to try out a, dec a decent wash gouache, <laughs> gouache set. And then of course their watercolors, which come in an amazing size. Um, they are both claimed to be artist quality. A couple of the paints did come loose um, during shipping. They left me a wonderful thank you card and then of course a, satisf some, a satisfaction thing, a little coupon, and then all of the pigments and how they would appear, which was, I thought, pretty cool. Um, hopefully their, uh, their little example is accurate, which saves you some time and paper from doing your own little test um, for the colors. I thought that the watercolor set had a lot of colors to offer, so I was pretty excited about that, even though um, I wasn't didn't see that many colors for the gouache. Now, first up is the transfer paper. I sketched a really messy doodle of Constantine out on just some computer paper and then with some washi tape, lightly taped it over my sketchbook and then took a um, Prismacolor Colorize colored pencil to quickly sketch over my lines and not the sketchy part, just anything that I wanted to retain a little bit more loose. Um, and as you can see, it came out amazingly. I loved it. So the transfer paper is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm sorry I couldn't review the print aspect of that, but um, using it regularly is awesome. I have some little um, watercolor pans from Walmart and I am just taking some of the watercolor paints here and um, opening them up and then testing um, not testing. <laughs> I'm opening them up and putting out a couple of the colors that I would need for this particular piece that I'm painting to test out. And um, the pigments are really beautiful. Again, they said this was uh, artist quality. Um, and then I picked out my usual, I usually paint with round brushes. So I picked out a two, four, and six, and is what I usually use, and then the large filbert brush head. Um, because I really do love filbert brush heads, they're a whole lot of fun. Um, the paints were insanely easy to mix, um, and the pigments were very strong, which is great, that's what you want. Um, but it was so nice and easy to mix everything, and just, it just, even with, you know, sometimes you never know, buying especially, um, tube paints, um, that come in a set, you're never quite sure what you're going to get. Sometimes the colors aren't always um, true 
to what is being advertised and then sometimes um, it's not always you know the best of pigments either which is um, obviously very disappointing but this was not the case I had plenty of colors to choose from and in that light I um also had a blast mixing and painting with these colors as well even when it came to making layers for um, the painting and the watercolor everything just went on so smooth the colors actually dried um, quite quickly um, which is amazing especially if you are painting with watercolor sometimes you have to dry your painting if you're working quickly but um, mixing the colors was a breeze the pigments were really strong i'd have to go over my colors a couple of times which i'm used to doing um i'm not used to very expensive uh watercolor paints um in which you wouldn't necessarily have to go over things um more than once because the pigment is so strong but as you can see, the pigment is quite strong. And then um, as far as layering the watercolors um, to make colors and shading and get my desired textures, those all worked out amazing as well. And I also really, really, really enjoyed painting with them. And again, as you can see, the brushes are just utterly amazing. I used the uh, filbert head to do some side anglings. Um, with that purple part right there but I just absolutely loved the watercolors and they were just amazing and fantastic and I just had a blast with them and then here reviewing the gouache um, you can see that you don't really have a very big selection unfortunately and the color selection that they did provide I found to be odd I didn't think it was necessary to have two different color greens, one so much in a dark shade that was like a really deep forest green and then one that was so light. They just aren't colors that you would just use out of the tube um, and they wouldn't be colors that you would pick up to mix either. And then you had two different color browns and then a two different reds and then just a very abrasive yellow and then no purple <laughs> i had to mix to get that purple but i would have needed a different pigment to get like an actual real purple so they kind of sacrificed um an area of you know having some colors and i'm not quite sure why they chose the colors they did for that set um, I don't think they're the most accessible colors to use, um, which was my biggest complaint. Um, I'm obviously also not the most uh, profound gouache painter either. I'm not used to working uh, starting backwards and then working forwards with my piece. But um, the paints were, again, very pigmented. Um, very easy to use. The brushes uh, worked very well with the paints, easy to clean, and I imagine for gouache, um, for gouache quality, th these were really good. They weren't overly chalky like a lot of gouache um, pigments are, but you can expect them to be that way, just like acrylics are kind of rubbery almost like a plastic that's kind of why i don't really like gouache that much because of how chalky it is but yeah i still had a blast learning and using them and layering and um other than the colors that was my only problem that i had with them everything else was wonderful and i had a blast painting and creating and using their art supplies and um, if you guys want their brushes or anything else from them, I definitely suggest giving them a look. This is not a sponsored video. They gave me these items to review for free. But if you like this video, leave me a like. Um, comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. And I appreciate any and all feedback you guys have to give. Definitely check out 
My Artscape Art Supplies. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.